most of you probably know seven of the most uh, valuable firms in the world are platforms. These have become absolutely gigantic firms with enormous power in their particular marketplaces. What is the challenge with regulating platforms? Well, there are a variety of them. One of them is what defines the market for these uh, platforms? So we look at things like Google and are they in search? Are they in self-driving cars? Are they in um, you know, video? Uh, or if we take a look at Amazon, are they in cloud or books or uh, e-commerce and marketplaces? Market definitions are particularly fuzzy and that's actually a, a competitive feature um, or, or a normal competitive practice of platforms is that they have an easy way to enter adjacent markets leveraging their common user bases. The challenge with ex post competition policy that is waiting to see what the behavior is of a firm and then deciding whether or not that was anti-competitive is that they tend to be very, very slow. These actions can take on the order of a decade, um, at the end of which the very situation um, that led to the action might well have changed. So the way we think of the Digital Markets Act is that it should be viewed as comp complementary to competition policy. And so these ex-ante obligations for the largest of the gatekeeper platforms would be viewed as a major objective in order to help have both consumer choice and autonomy um, amongst the different platforms that they might choose to participate on. And so it's a framework that authorities can have um, so that they can get direct access to platform data and information um, for the purposes of verifying that the platforms are doing what they say they are with respect to their own governance principles. Mm -hmm.